Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, right, so we're out again with Bumblebee today. I've uh, been messing with his batteries and stuff. I'm be running him off 18650s because I've got, well, quite a few as you can see. We can run him off two at a time. I'm up on the uh, a nice flat spot on top of the mountain um, so I can give him a proper test. I have made a few alterations to him. I uh, blew the diff out in the back, so I've had to fix that. And uh, like I say, we've got him running on 18650. So let's get him up and running and see. Uh, cut the camera off early there, guys. Let's get him up and running and see, uh, see how he goes. Right, the reason I've chosen these 18650s to run him on, guys, is because <coughs> these are uh, vape... Um, sort of uh, 5,000 milliamp is it the, the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for sort of high capacity ones anyway so right we're going to try him believe it or not guys it's going dark and it's like 4 o'clock so uh, let's get the best out of what we can a bit quick Tell you what, I wish I'd videoed the uh, repairs I had to make on the diff. I had to make parts and everything. So, uh, right. Let's see how he does. I know for a fact what happened there, the battery's come loose. Okay. Not again. Ah, see, he's cutting back in and out. Right, it's these cheap battery connectors of these guys. I've joined two together. I need to. <clears throat> I need to um, move the batteries further back because, uh, as you can see, she's spinning out quite a lot. But that's just due to battery placement. I should have known, really, from the last time I put the batteries there. I need to go further back. I may have found the issue, guys. That's where I've probably either connections on there. I may have to put the uh, sort that out. But uh, this is kind of an ongoing project. As you know, if you've seen the previous videos, it's been ongoing for about a year. So <laughs> well, she's up and running. Uh, that's the main. Right, let's wait for this car and we'll try it once more. Okay, slow voltage cut off by the looks because the steering still works. Unless we've got a loose motor wire or something. Um, I appear to be all good. Oh man, do you know what? This thing is an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Um, okay, let's just try some more batteries. If not, we'll shove a lipo in ya. And see how he goes. Actually, I'm going to get a lipo. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Today we'll be running Bumblebee on lipo batteries, so... Got these 2500 milliamp and uh, I'm gonna try it. This may be a separate video, guys. See, that's why the other intro. <laughs> um, right, I'm gonna tape it on for now. All right, guys, it's that cold up here, believe it or not. Right, my tape has gone all funny, but yeah, there we are. I've t stuck it in the back to see if that's any better. 
Hi right, guys, so one of the two S like well I've been trying to avoid running it on light poles to be honest because I'm fed up of making diff repairs. So uh let's let's try it anyway. Wow what a difference. So, as you can see there guys, he does run, whacking great there, much better with that setup. Whoops, I don't know what that was about. Right guys, that's confirmed, it's definitely the battery, uh, the battery holder. I'm going to just try and go easy on the throttle. Not to, uh, like I say, wreck the diff. Yeah, we need more weight. I thought there was someone coming, there is. He needs a bit more weight in him, guys. Way up. Quick update, guys. Been running this for about probably an hour. I bear in mind the motor is smaller than the actual one that this is meant to power. But well, the motor. It's warm but not boiling, battery's cold. ESC is a little bit warm. It's like literally warm, so uh, all good. Now I'm quite chuffed with this guy's actually. I'm gonna uh, take him home, do some more refinements on it. Maybe just uh, do away with this battery setup altogether. So these are cheap uh, holders. It does need a little more, a bit more weight in it, but um, we can sort that out. Right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm really going this time, and I'll catch you on the next one.